Okay, so we're going to make some lemon oil. And I'm just prepping these lemons. I'm just brushing the skin off a little bit because um, the skin has some uh, food grade wax. And we just want to brush that off a little bit. Um, just be careful and try not to use dish washing soap on your lemons because um, that's not uh, food grade and uh, it may have some um, not so good stuff in it so just take a brush and kind of brush your lemon skin off and clean it up a little bit this is food grade it's um it's uh bee wax so a part of um a, a mix of bee wax with another food grade wax that they coat the lemon with so just be careful and don't use dish soap so these lemons are nice and plump and if you squeeze their skin, you can see the uh, the oils, or you can feel the oils on it. Um, these are really good lemon to um, to put in the distiller because they're not the skin is not dried out, and they're 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 not um, dry lemon, and they haven't been sitting there for a while, and they're not dried up. So these are perfect peel not the white part but we're gonna peel the the um just as much as the top the top skin that we can peel off because the white part when we get into the white part between the skin and the lemon um flesh that white part is a little bit bitter so we'll just try to stay away from that as much as we can and because I I use lemon and lime to put in my my green juice every day, so I'm gonna peel it like so. And I'm trying not to go it too deep, too deep into the white. I'm just trying to stay as much as I can stay on top. You see how thin that is? I mean, it's a little work, but see, I try to stay on top. And this is how much white is still there. This is all white. See? Um, so I'm just going to take the try to get the top skin off and I'll get it all into the chopper or the food processor and I was thinking about grating it but I think this is this is okay You're barely just getting the skin and the white is still here see all of this is the white if I cut a little bit more down into the flesh and just leave the top see how much white I'm leaving on so that's that I'll be back when I'm done doing all of these Okay, so I got the food processor out. I put some um, of the peel in there. And I got my column. I'm gonna um, process this and then put it into the column. Okay, so I'm gonna open this. Just chop it up like so, and then 
and I'm gonna start loading up my phone. Okay, this is our second batch. I'm trying to get this column filled up. We're getting there. Just a little bit more. See, if I do like this, look at this. I'm get the camera to focus. See, you see oil that came out there? This, um, these lemons are loaded with lemon oil. Use the lemon in the fridge. Now we'll load the last set that I chopped up in here. to go. I'm going to put this on. Screw the top on. Get the water going here. And I've got the material in here. That's loaded up. We're gonna connect to this part up here. We got a good amount of citrus oil that's coming up here. Um, check that out. All of this, that's the oil. And then the hydrous oil. That looks beautiful. Okay, so I just switched out the bottles because it's got really, um, really full. But if you see right there, so I'll be putting it in here. And this bottle, I cleaned it out really good with alcohol.
are there still? There's still a bunch of oil at the top there. I took out a quite a good amount already. Um, so this is 6 ml. I drew out 6 ml from the bottle. So we're going to put that in our eyedropper. We have a good amount of the essential oil in here. So here we go. This is the lemon hydrosol. is right there this smells so divine beautiful you got your lemon hydrosol and your lemon essential oil <laughs> 